This is the type of adventure that you've never seen us do before. We are about to torture another very popular YouTuber. Empty your pockets. We're gonna die out here. You have like 50 mosquitoes on you. <laughs> you okay? Dude, honestly, I didn't even know what to expect. But these mosquitoes are crazy, dude. If these mosquitoes weren't around and my leg wasn't messed up, this would be so much fun. Right now, it's a little bit, ugh. All right, guys, so for the first leg of this challenge, we obviously are just gonna drop these guys off on the west side of the island, but since they're blindfolded, they have no idea where they're at. You guys may know him, may have not heard of him, but his name's Chris Area. He has a big fitness channel, like four million subs. The dude is just very into fitness, very fit guy. He is friends with a good friend of ours, Aaron Brimhall. So Chris is in town visiting, right? He's here in Utah, trying to get the Utah experience he is not well versed in you know the wilderness the that's blind, where yes. we come into play chris and aaron are about to get here we're gonna blindfold them we're gonna throw them in the back of the helicopter we're gonna take them out to an island in the middle of the great salt lake the one that you guys all know and we are going to leave them stranded there with some clues along the way of how to get back and guys this is a no joke no frills no gimmicks they have no idea what to expect they literally think they're going for a few hour adventure we're gonna follow the ridge line Dude, we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I'm just worried because there's money on the line. Don't step near the big bushes because that's where the snakes hide under. We're, uh, we got another milestone. <laughs> Diesel brothers, man, these guys are crazy. Now here's where things get interesting. I'm gonna make Chris a bet. I know that he likes high stakes. He's big into adventure. I'm gonna bet him 20 grand that he can't get off the island by midnight tonight. Keep in mind, we're gonna drop him on the far west side of the island, about five miles across the island up rocky hills. And then from there, they have to make it across a seven mile sandbar. We've stashed some electric bikes out there that they can use to get across the sandbar. We've stashed some different clues and things. Basically it's a scavenger hunt mixed with survivor, mixed with we're gonna take all of their belongings and give them one backpack with like five survival items. They think they're in for the Utah adventure, which it is. We're about to show them what that is. We also have the crew out on the island right now, kind of hidden in different places. Keep in mind that Nate will be on the ground filming them. Nate doesn't know the course. Nate doesn't have all the clues. He's basically just gonna have a camera in their face, so they can't even cheat. The question that I have for you is, watch this video, see the challenges, see what's in, in it. Do you think you could do this in seven hours? It's gonna be about five o'clock by the time we drop can them I say off. yes already? I could do it. Well, you know the course. You just set up the course with me. Do a different course for me. Seven hours is all they have to get 12, 13 miles from the middle of the Great Salt Lake back to the mainland. And if not, Chris owes me 20 grand. an ounce of water i'm like savoring it i'm an <laughs> idiot uh, do we get a sip of water before we start hold stand just okay. Aaron, got we gotta get our rations bro i'm like so scared you guys are gonna like pants me or something where you're stepping right now maybe over the last hundred years thousand 2,000 people max have been out here this is a very remote location even though it's fairly close to salt lake city the history of this island that you're on it's pretty intense. There's everything from grave robbers that were banished out here in the 1800s that uh, supposedly still walk the land. There's some grave sites of actual people out here. It's definitely haunted. Yeah, it's, it's that's, that's what I'm getting at is it's haunted. Go ahead and take your bandanas off. What the <laughs> That's yeah. gonna be a trip. All right, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I should have brought my sunglasses. You should have brought a lot of things. <laughs> but it wouldn't have mattered because first things first, empty your pockets. Dang, this guy thought ahead. Yeah, empty your pockets. I had a fire starter. All right, where's your phone? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to take pics. You are not going to be able to take pics, my hey, friend. So Is there anything else in your pockets? So you got a phone? Nope. So Nothing? Take pics. Nothing. All right, everything. Can I take a sip of that before you take it? Just a little, little like, love to hear. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I need, I need a little bit. <laughs> That's the last sip of water we're gonna yeah. have for the next 24 hours. Right, Everything now. that you guys need to survive and to get off this island is in this backpack right here. Now, everything. Keep, yeah, everything. It's the bare essentials. Here's the thing, man. You do hard things all the time, right? Yeah. Your workouts, all that stuff. You wanted to come to Utah and get the Utah experience. You guys had a little bit last night, got to experience a little bit of the desert. You like a good challenge, right? Yes, sir. Basically, you are on an island in the middle of the Great Salt Lake. I'm willing to bet you right now, $20,000 cash, that you can't get off this island before midnight. Now, if you can, I'll give you 20 grand. If you can't, you pay me 20 grand. It's five o'clock right now, it gives you seven hours to make it, mm, call it just shy of 15 miles. Keep in mind, you're on an island, right? 
on somewhere on this island is a form of transportation for you guys. You in? You wanna go half on it, 10 and 10? Oh, I have no choice, sure. <laughs> We're already shaking hands with me. <laughs> All, right. Grand. All right, brother. You Let's in? Let's do it, we're in. I will tell you this. As soon as you guys start making your way towards the mainland, you'll be approached by clues and stuff that are gonna help you, like I said, it's totally doable to get off here by midnight is what I'm telling you. We provide you all the resources. You start with what's in that bag, which if you wanna go ahead and pop it open and- uh, Unless you go in the wrong direction, then- Well, I get, well, it's take a long, long, longer. What the f is this? A shovel, baby. Is that all the shovel? Well, I hope there's mosquito repellent Jeffrey Dahmer in here. Okay. Two water. <laughs> well, no, this was two, two mosquito cans of mosquito repellent, so, bro. We're gonna die out here. As far as food and drink, you each have one bottle of water and you each have one packet of athletic greens. Crack that bad boy open. It's your travel pack. That is gonna give you the energy that you need to get off the island, and that is definitely an ad. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Guys, I will keep this very short and sweet, but I gotta tell you right now that legitimately the only source of nutrition that these guys are getting today is one pack of Athletic Greens AG1 each. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want these guys to suffer. I want them to feel hunger. I want them to struggle, but at the same time, I don't want them to die, which is why I'm giving them this. One scoop of Athletic Greens is gonna have all the daily vitamins minerals and nutrition they need. It's got like 75 different ingredients of whole superfoods, probiotics, prebiotics, all the stuff that our bodies are craving and that our bodies need to perform at optimal levels and just feel good and it's super easy. So guys, if you wanna try this out, which I think you should, because it works for me, it works for these guys, it works for millions of people, all you gotta do is click the link in my description below, go to their website, place an order. When you do that, they're gonna reward you. They're gonna give you five free travel packs and a one year supply of vitamin D absolutely free and it's so easy I drink this bottle and bam i can check off my daily vitamin minerals and nutrient needs in one easy and actually really delicious drink click the link in my description thank you athletic greens for supporting the videos and thank you for keeping these guys alive on the island you open all the pockets Ooh, those shoes you're gonna be oh here we go oh shoot if you guys want to fire it off and lose 20 grand right now you're more than welcome yeah we forfeit if we do this if you fire the flare before the finish line, then you the deal. Unless off. you're crossing so the finish line. Unless it's a victory one. We have lights. lamps. Okay. So we're definitely going to be here overnight. The bad part is I go to bed early. He stays up all night. So, so, so he's going to be carrying you. Pretty much. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck out here at night using it. So Can you tell us like what direction we flew out from? I cannot, but you have a compass. So Aaron is a little familiar with the terrain out here. <laughs> well, um, well nice we are we are getting uh, destroyed by mosquitoes, so yeah. we're gonna go ahead and let you guys go. And best of luck. Okay. <laughs> I just got a bit like oh, ten times. Man. We All should right. have we should have a stakes of like at the end of this, whoever has can count up the most mosquito bites <laughs> wins like an extra five grand. Just know that the <laughs> the faster you move to your first couple checkpoints, the sooner you will find some mosquito repellent. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Now, since we just dropped these guys off and told them to try to find the other side of the island and the transportation that's gonna help them get off, they just need to start wandering until they find their first clue. There is no mercy cards right now. If they don't follow the clues and move fast, they're going to get destroyed by mosquitoes, which they're already getting destroyed by right oh, yeah. now. And they're not gonna make it. They're gonna lose 20 grand. Don't get eaten by bugs, buddy. You got that? All I want to find out are where the clues are. I haven't used binoculars in a while. Hold on, I'm just seeing if there's anything up on this ridge. Didn't give us any like clues at all right off the. I know. Right I have absolutely no which way, no idea which way to go. I don't even really know what where we're supposed to go. We just need to get that way because that's where we came from. We share a lot of the same followers, so it would be good. I know. Yo, did you check that out? You have like 50 mosquitoes on you, bro. Do you not? Do I? Do I look like that? Oh, you got the back. And the first clue starts now. How the hell are we supposed to find a clue when, like, how big this is? We don't even have it, like a drone. I mean, there are people in boats. We could literally get a ride. What the f is that? Oh, <laughs> I'm assuming that's a clue. Yeah. Just follow me. Okay. He's gonna make us run. They brought out the mini <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> Dude, for real. Please do not say we're going back that yeah, way. Yeah, if we are, that would suck. Ah, no! 
Now, once the guys see the drone, they're gonna realize that it's dangling a sign that says, follow me. The drone is then gonna turn back in the direction of the first clue. If they follow it all the way, they're gonna see some smoke bombs go off, and boom, right there, their first clue. I had a feeling, dude. I was like, maybe, we... that's why I was looking in the binoculars up here. This shit hurts the out of my leg. Oh, yeah. One bottle of water. If it gets to a point where we have to start peeing in each other's mouths, look back here and I saw that flag, but I just thought it was another one of those aviation flags. Now on the first uh, clue, we wanted to ease these guys into it, so we kept it super simple. It basically just says, go east until you find some blue rocks and a lightning rod, and there lies your next clue. You want to stop to take a break, but then like the mosquitoes just eat you alive. Freaking dying right now. I, so I see one lightning. There's one like in the middle over there where like those rocks are, but I see something by that lightning rod. It's orange. Alright, check it out real quick. That has to be some type of clue. Oh my god, these mosquitoes are fucking killing me, dude. Yo, yeah, let's go that way! Alright. Alright guys, it has been officially about one hour since we dropped our guests off on the other side of the island. As far as we know, they made it to the first checkpoint, which was a really easy one because the drone flew in their face and then there were smoke bombs. They are so much more into it than I think we were even anticipating. Like we knew they'd be into it. We knew they were excited, but they are like into it. All right, so apparently this is a lightning rod. Yeah, you're gonna love this. You gotta dig. So we are on the far east side of the island, which is kind of like the last checkpoint that they have to get to before they find the bikes. Dropped them off way over on the west side over there. So it's probably three or four miles the crow flies. As far as we know, they're to the second checkpoint, the second clue. The first two were pretty close together and those ones were fairly, fairly easy. Third checkpoint is where things get really hard. We start? I guess so. I don't wanna waste any time. This is just gonna be like an all out battle for- Should we take another water break? We just opened one bottle? If you don't mind opening mine and mixing mine in. All right, I'll we'll start. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's the only thing in here, but. Let's open it. Watch, it's gonna be like a freaking Mosquito repellent, I'll love that. That would change the whole dynamic of this video. Is that it? Yes! Yes, Fuck yes dude. Looks like they gave us a, a story of... Oh god, we gotta read. Alright, here we go. Take a shower in this. I'll probably end up drinking that later. Bro, for real. <laughs> Can I dig a little more? Do you think they left more? With these guys, I wouldn't put it past them. Well, let's read this. You gotta pay attention though. That's okay. all I read. Are you listening? Yeah. Fremont Island almost became a buffalo park. Several decades after Antelope Island even received its first herd of transplanted bison, the Buffalo Island. CJ Buffalo Jones. Oh, I didn't hear a word you said. Huh? I didn't hear a word you said. CJ Buffalo Jones wanted to create a buffalo preserve on the island and supposedly had a promise of 30 grand in aid from the federal government to get his project started. Um, of course, Jones' plan didn't happen, but... Now at the second clue, they'll open a box and inside that box they'll find a map and some instructions to find an insanely cool historical marker that's hidden on a place called Castle Rock. Now Castle Rock, keep in mind, is about two miles away from where they're at now and it's a pretty rugged hike to get there. A cross in a rock at the island's highest point. That might be a clue. The years to sheep herders and brine shrimpers. You want me to read it? You want it? All right, let me see. I like can read right a, little, a little bit faster. I need more of that. Here, um, this is repellent. All right. I have no idea what any of that meant, but on this box it says, Go to Castle Rock. Okay, that's where. And, and find, find a Kit Carson's Cross. Instructions below. I guess it's that's more where of a we're story headed. than not a, rather than instructions. Oh, Two 
hike across a very rocky ridge line, and then they have to read a map, an old map, and then they have to solve an actually fairly difficult riddle. We've been out here for what, two hours almost? Probably more? Oh, definitely. We are running out of daylight though, like yep. fast. I don't even know what time it is. That's the best part. Isn't it like every finger, you do this with every finger and it's like 15 minutes a finger? Really? From like where the sun is? From Miami, bro. <laughs> some cell phones. We have like an hour and a half until the sun goes down. If my fingers are right. Bro. What? There's two bikes up there. No way. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's this one for sure. Yeah? That is crazy. I just keep like telling myself it. we just started, which is far from that. Trying to think about how we're gonna climb this thing, but I guess we're just gonna walk up it. Just walk straight up. But the sun is setting. I think we have about an hour left of daylight. After these guys make the rugged trek across the ridge line to Castle Rock, they're gonna find a lockbox and a riddle. You good? You want me to take the bag? I mean, you could. I just don't think girls are gonna slide in your DMs. Just walk sideways. I've been walking for like a month. You dead? Huh? Water? Okay, last bit of water. That's it, officially no more water. Should I grab this? seven o'clock and we have officially lost track of them. Uh, the drone cannot find them. We had bad boy on the other side of the island with another drone following them and he lost them as well. So I believe they're getting close to their third checkpoint. So we are gonna jump in the helicopter and do a quick reconnaissance mission. Numbers probably in this paper or in that. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, oh man, there's, there's question marks. Is this okay. a game show? Open the lock using these clues. Oh. 682, one digit is right and, it, and in its place. One digit is right, but in the wrong place. Two digits are right. So right off the bat right here, one digit is right and in its place. So which one is here? One digit is right, but in the wrong place. Two digits two digits are right, but both are in the wrong place. How many are there three? It's definitely, so six is definitely in the wrong place. You know they're gonna be considerate and not break that lockbox. I think they're gonna get so annoyed at the mosquitoes that they're just gonna move real fast. They may just and start sprinting off the island. We should have put some eggs in that lockbox so if they did break it, it got egg yolk and all over. So let's try six. All digits are wrong. Brothers, man, these guys are crazy. They should have dropped this like <laughs> some water, bro. I'm gonna go through every number one by one. Oh, I got it, dude. Yeah. Zero, four, two. Sick. Yo, what the? I can't believe we did that. <laughs> okay, another map. Head southeast to the cabin. That's literally all we needed to do. We're literally halfway, I guess, because we, we came from right here. We go all the way to the, end, the other end of the island. We started right here, came to Castle Rock. We hit the tip. My guy. I think we're gonna get there, bro. It's not even nighttime yet. Let's ride. But what's in that cabin is my question. 
hopefully it's some water. <laughs> Here at the cabin, you get your welcome sign, right? Open up the door, looking for your next clue. Sign says, oh, and then it says two items, including the keys to the bikes they're gonna be riding, are buried in five gallons of fresh, soupy horseshit. <laughs> so from there, there's a map that shows them where their bikes are, which are solid at least a mile from here, and the keys to the bikes, one key for each bike. I feel like I had like a bunch of water and I didn't even drink it. It's all mental, bro. I think really it's like the fact that the mosquitoes are 70% down, like this is now like epic. Now I'm loving this. The weather is amazing. The view is so sick. Look at that. You guys are really testing our IQ levels back there. That last uh, King's Cross clue. I'm sweating, it's getting cold. It's gonna get freezing here in a second. I'm hungry. Is this like as crazy as it's gonna get? I don't know. <laughs> what would you do if you were the last person on earth? Would you learn how to fly an airplane by yourself? You could just die. Bruh. The cabin on the island is the fourth stop in this adventure and it's getting pretty close to where the transportation is. However, this clue, stinks. What was that even for? Just to come to like check up on it? You can see like... Uh. Oh, I rolled my leg again. I'm starving. I didn't eat anything all day. I think I've said that 20 times already, but I'm gonna start eating the mosquitoes here in a minute. Yo! Found it! All right, where are you at? I am so happy there's some light. Yo, they for sure like put something in that cabin. I, I'm not going in there first. I need more water. I'm dying. See, it's great down there. I'm covering my in case like people start shooting us with paintball guns. Oh, is that, did that just move that thing right there? Hold up. Ah! This is a f***ing grenade, bro. Freaking missile, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's an anchor. Dude, let's just go in this cabin. Yeah, there's a light on. You see the light? No. You open up the front, all right? No. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Two items. Oh, sh Two items. Oh, we have a shovel in our book bag. Water, don't drink. Dude, that is disgusting. Their next clues are lying at the bottom of this bucket. They have to find two items. One is a bag with keys to their transportation, and the other is a bag with a map showing them where their transportation is. Oh, that's nasty as f What is that, bro? Is that shit? Oh my f I just touched it. It is shit, isn't it? I don't know. It smells like it. Oh my gosh, dude. There it is. <laughs> oh, dude, okay, I dug, you get it. <laughs> Right? Uh, these guys know exactly what the f they're doing, bro. Oh, it's a learn my hands, <laughs> dude. You know what? <laughs> Use that fork. Just stab it with this thing and just open it. We don't want to get the paper dirty. Here. Oh, God, I got it on my f hand, bro. Grab it. Oh. I knew to that. The lonely bush. Head to the lonely bush. All right, let's get the f out of here, bro. Should we leave the shovel or should we bring it? That. We'll take the next one with our hands. We literally just dug up a map out of sh Oh, these look like lonely bushes, bro. Out here to the right. What do you think that came from? Did you have a little femur? Skywalkers. Skywalkers. I mean, skinwalkers. <laughs> See, when I signed up for this, I thought we were just getting out of here. For sure, I would have done it before midnight, but doing all these clues and stuff like that, we're losing a lot of time. Dude, how is this not it? How is this not it? Right, so apparently, we didn't grab two things out of the bucket. We grabbed one, it was just the map. We didn't even bring the map. Dude, we walked far though. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, it's so gross. Two keys, bro. Ew. I'm gonna throw up. I'll put it in my pocket. We were so far off. We literally have to go way down to the right. Chris! They cannot hear us. I see a silhouette of something. I didn't think I was gonna find you again. That, I, just, that, I was honestly kind of worried for a minute. I am so happy we went back. And I'm happy to see you again too. We pulled the battery out of the bike. So they're gonna be all pumped thinking they're there. They made it, put the keys in the bikes. Well, I'm not gonna start. <laughs> That's why we put the pegs on the other bike. So one of them is gonna have to jump on the homie haulers while the other one drives them seven miles across the sandbar. Hold on, I'll Who calls them homie haulers? I really wanna know in the comments if homie haulers is a real thing. I call them pegs, what do you call them? Buddy pegs. Buddy you, pegs, no, you call them homie haulers. We all call them homie haulers now. Yeah. But what do you call them? Yeah. Homie haulers is a much better name. I'll pegs. be honest, with you. Okay. I've never heard homie hauler, and I do will I, now address them as homie haulers. I heard Rob Wise say it this morning. Rob Wise is a professional BMX rider. Oh, okay. Rob Wise said it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now Thank homie you, Rob. I stole homie haulers. <laughs> I was sitting here trying to pretend like I, I came up with an idea, and I stole from Rob. We uh, stashed the battery to the second bike in a nearby bush and we told Nate where that battery is so that Nate can actually get on that bike and follow them as they make their way across the sandbar. There's something. I don't see a bush though. Should we start checking out these bushes around here? Do you think they're actually showing us? Oh there it is. Oh yeah. Shot some shit. Let's go. Water. Let's go. <laughs> no, they shot two. Oh my god, they're bikes. There's a, a, a map on it. Follow heading of 60 degrees for one fourth mile till you find fresh tire tracks and follow those tracks one mile southeast. Seven miles. Oh, seven miles? Holy shit. Okay. There's no battery in that one. Oh, fuck. Oh. It's only battery, only battery in the bottom. Okay, well, I did see them drop follow some shit over there. Heading. Do you know directions? Do you know? Do you understand those directions? Um, not really. Me neither. So we gotta go nuts to butts on this shit. Oh, pegs! I gotta be on the back, or you gotta be on the back. So wait, why would they do that? My question. Dude, I just had the. I, gra I had to run and grab both keys. Okay. I gave one to Chris. Okay. And as we were running over here, I said, do not lose them. And you lost one of his. That one's for the this wrong bike? This one's for the wrong bike. We better call Chris <laughs> back over here. Get Come here. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. Well, still seven miles to the, to the causeway. How's it been so far? Dude, my feet hurt so bad. Yeah? <laughs> I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Feels like I've been walking for a month. You guys have been walking quite a bit. For a long time. It's only been like four hours. I can't fucking find I literally had it in my hand. And... You, guys, you guys want to call a lifeline? What's that? It's where you get lucky that I have a spare in my pocket. Dude, you're a lifesaver. You guys have to ride together on one bike. That's fine. Okay. We'll see you on the other side, boys. No water? I know, right? I was really hoping we had some water.
It is just past 10 o'clock, 10.02, and our boys are rolling in after a very long journey. Let's see what they have to say. That's, that's. Hi. <laughs> Please tell me it's not midnight. Bro, we did it, it is only 10.02. No, no way. way. No way. Well, you have no idea what time it is. Oh, <laughs> I forgot That is that incredible. <laughs> this is all we need, man. The 20 grand. I could have sworn it was like 11.50. You had no sense of time, no sense of where you were at. Dude, what was the hardest part? The mosquitoes, bro. How bad were they? Anything. <laughs> Dude, that was the worst. That was honestly the worst. That was the only thing. Other than that, I was chilling. Did the repellent help at all? That was probably the yeah. best thing. Yeah, once we got, the, I feel like every step of the way, we got like some more remedies along the way. So it just made it like so much more chill. Tell Dude, me this, was it actually mentally taxing? Like, did you feel challenged? I think I did. I mean, yeah, we was definitely Especially challenged. Especially at the end right there. Oh, sure. like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to freak out. I was just having more fun. Dude, so that was seriously impressive. Really? Like, yeah. yeah, not just like a gimmicky like, could, like stunts and stuff like that. That was impressive. Damn. The fact that you guys knew the direction, knew where to go, found the bikes. <laughs> nice work. First time using a One bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. I drank the athletic greens. Did you? Oh yeah. Stuff's good, huh? I, I got some energy from hey, it. Hey, there you go. Nobody How was the sh What so was that? Was, that's horse shit. I that told you, bro. <laughs> I was like, dude, this smells like straight That's shit. fresh, oh, fresh horse so look, look at what, this is what Aaron was wearing. This is what, <laughs> That's impressive. Dude, my feet hurt so well, bad. How do you not have thistles and stickers in them? Mentally, I'm like, I just, I can't think about yeah. it. Oh. It hurts. Okay, so, so that means that we technically won, right? You just, yeah. Yeah, well, not until you fire off the celebratory. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I hope that they are all blanks. All right, Aaron, congrats, boys. The 20K player right here. Oh, <laughs> they are dead. blanks. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Pull the hammer back again. <laughs> Round two. All right, Aaron. 20K player, baby. We did it. You know, we just officially won 20 racks, but you know what I was thinking? Sparks. How about we take this up a notch and we go double or nothing on the next vlog? Ooh. You hear that? <laughs> These guys are feeling confident. Double or nothing? All I'm gonna do is agree. Yep. Oh, I agree. I'm in. I'm in. Vlog number two, 40 racks, baby. If it's like running a mile or something like that, I'm out. <laughs> you guys put us through this, we'll put you through something too. Dude, Damn. it did suck. My toenails hurt. Yeah, my feet kind of hurt. <laughs> Dude, I wanted it to suck. I think it was just the right amount of suck, right? Yeah, just the right amount of suck. That's a lot of walking. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That uh, challenge is complete. I'll be honest with you, I was 50-50 as mm. to whether or not they were going to be able to make it off the island by midnight. They rolled up here after fighting tooth and nail. Keep in mind, they're wearing like not outdoor gear. They're wearing like street shoes. They rolled across the finish line at 10.02, two hours ahead of schedule. So $20,000 is going to my friend Chris. However, he did say he wants to go double or nothing. Big shout out to these guys, not knowing the terrain, not knowing the, the land, not knowing what's going on and being totally willing to just be our little guinea pigs and our victims. These guys proved uh, that they're not just good looks. If you guys enjoyed that, buckle up because sounds like there's another storm brewing.